thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. I am going to be filming a Sephora VIB Rouge haul. And I know the sale is over, but I still wanted to share the items that I picked out um, or picked up during the sale. And there's the bag. I actually made a few trips to this wholesale. Um, I had a birthday gift um, that I needed to purchase and I purchased the, um, it was a perfume set um, for my um, husband's uh, cousin. She, uh, it was her birthday in uh, November so I picked her up a perfume which obviously is not included in here but um, I'm going to get started. And I didn't um, pick up a lot of items. I know it's going to seem like a lot, but I was actually very picky in the items that I did choose. And side note, um, I have used some of these. And also, I'm not, um, I think I'm coming down with a cold. I'm trying to fight it as much as I can. Um, but you'll hear my voice kind of in and out. So I apologize for that. And my eyes, too, are really um, puffy and stuff. So. Anyway, um, some of the items for skincare, I picked up the Origins Ginseng Refreshing uh, Scrub Cleanser, and I love this. It smells so good. It smells like oranges, and it's such a gentle exfoliate that it's really, really nice. It leaves your, your skin um, soft, and I'm used to uh, exfoliators that are actually a little more rough than this, but I really like this, and I will definitely repurchase that. Um, another one, this is uh, Murad, Murad, I don't know, it's M-U-R-A-D, Clarifying Cleanser, and it's the Acne, and um, I just got the travel size one because I wanted to try it out, and I buy a lot of um, facial cleansers and scrubs to see what which one I like, and my husband really likes this one. So, what is going on back here? Okay. <laughs> so, um, I like that one. He likes that one more than I do. Um, I got a couple 100 point um, perks here, and it is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. So I got a couple of those. And I've been wanting to buy the full size of it. And I have two of them. So hopefully that should last me a while until I actually have to purchase it. Because I have been wanting to purchase the full size. I just haven't got around to it. And then I purchased another Beauty Blender. Um, I, I love these things. They're so, so good. Obviously it's not here because... I used it. It's right here and it's so dirty. I need to clean that. Um, but yeah, I picked up another one and I really like those. I also picked up an eyeshadow from Bare Minerals and it is called The Top Shelf, which I'm sure you've heard of it because it's so popular. And it was um, sold out a couple times. And it's right there. They're beautiful colors. It's like this bronzy gold and a champagne color. And I have been using these since I bought it and I really love it. I am not wearing it right now. I It's been I think three days that I've been going with this look that I have. Okay, my hair is getting on my nerves. I'm so sorry if I keep playing with it. It's just not cooperating. I bought the Urban Decay D Slick um, Oil Control Spray, and I needed this one, but I don't know, I was just kind of, I haven't had this spray, the makeup spray, in a while, and I was not really impressed with it, so I don't know, kind of disappointed with that purchase, but I'm going to obviously use it. Um, I do want to try the Kat Von D setting spray so I might purchase that one and I'm trying to find my all my blushes all oh, like I got a lot <laughs> I know in my last haul I said that unless my uh, I was not going to purchase a blush unless it, it knocked my socks off and considered my socks off <laughs> um, but 
I purchased two of them. I had to get this one from NARS because it is the holiday limited edition and I like, not like, I really um, love this one. It is called, oh here it is, Almeria, A-L-M-E-R-I-A -E and there's the packaging is so cute but okay. I might film, there's the color, really, really nice, especially right now for fall and winter. And I do have a little bit of that today on. Now, it kind of reminds me of Seduction, but not so much. I am going to film a video of my favorite blushes for fall and winter, and this one will be included in there. Another one is an Hourglass Radiant Magenta, and these are the Ambient um, Lighting Blush. And I also have a little bit of this one on, and I love this color. It's such a beautiful color. I would wear this year-round, so really nice, and I've been using that one a lot. I feel like I think I purchased this one in one of my hauls, and... I returned it. It just I couldn't get over the price point for it and I just thought I don't know, I just wanted to return it and ever since I did I wanted the color so I was like I need to go get that and I finally did so I've used it so I'm not returning it. <laughs> and then another blush, this is from the Sephora collection and this is a cream to powder. I love these and I feel like Sephora doesn't get a lot of love for their um, makeup and they have really good products. You'd be pleasantly surprised but I don't know if you can kind of see some gold in there. This reminded me so much of the uh, NARS Sin. It's right there and right here it's really really pretty so I was wearing this one with um, sin from NARS and again this color is in golden spice number four love those I have a couple of those blushes um, I picked up another hourglass primer and then a Kat Von D what is this? Ink liner. And I love this one. This is my favorite one. And then a brush, number 53, from the Pro Full Coverage um, brushes from Sephora. If you're a makeup artist, and even if you're not, I would totally recommend this because it is such a nice brush. I've obviously been using it, but this contours your face really nicely, and I really, really like it. Uh, I've used this with cream and powders, so it's a really nice brush. I feel like the short handle really gives you um, a precise application, and just you're able to um, what do I mean? Blend a lot better. I'm guys, I'm sick, and <laughs> my brain is just not functioning the way I would like it to. Okay, I. Also purchased the Solid Brush Cleanser, the Sephora one. I've heard uh, a lot of people talk about this one, and it comes with a little rubber thing there where you clean them, clean your brushes. I have used this one. If you want to see a review um, about the Solid Brush Cleanser from Sephora and then the Beauty Blender Cleanser, let me know because I have used both of them and I'll leave my opinions for that video if you want to see it. Okay, I'll just put that one back. And this is one of the most exciting purchases that I made and it was only $6. This is the Sephora, it's a spatula, um, Bottoms Up Beauty Spatula. And if you are like me and you invest in concealers and foundations and primers and when I say invest it's that they're expensive <laughs> you want to make sure that you get every bit bit of product out of the jars and I certainly have been this fits into the hourglass primer this is the smaller one 
and I actually used up one of these already and I was able to scoot up to get a lot of products. I was using a cotton ball and um, or a cotton, what, uh, what was I using? Yeah, cotton swabs um, to get it. And I found that the cotton was absorbing absorbing a lot of the product. And that's just a waste. So I tried it with this when I finally found it because they're always sold out. And I love it. I also got two more uses out of a foundation from my MAC that I had put in my Back to MAC bag. So I really, really like that. And it's only $6. Okay, they also were giving this bracelet thing, and then also I got the great um, the Dior mascara. That was a hundred point perk, and a lipstick that fell. Obviously, it's the one I'm wearing. <laughs> and let me get that one really quick. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm not editing or doing anything. I'm rolling with this. Okay, this is the lipstick. I got two of the lipsticks from the NARS Audacious collection. And I actually purchased three, but one of the colors I took back because it reminded me a lot of a color I already have, which is the Radiant Orchid from Sephora, or the color of the year um, lipstick. And I returned it. So this is the one that I have on right now. And I've been wearing this, like I said, for the past three days. I absolutely love that color. And they're very, very buttery and smooth. They just glide on your lips. And then another one that I purchased is Claudia. I wanted to get Ingrid, but I just feel like I have colors like that. And these are expensive, as you may already know. So I wanted to get colors that I will use um, year-round. So not just for a season or if it was trendy. Uh, this is Claudia, and it's a beautiful pink color. It's right there, and I would definitely recommend this one. There's also a color, um, I think it's Anna. It's really nice, and I it swatches really nice on me, but I need to try it, and I hate trying lipsticks at Sephora or any products in general in any um, store. So, anyway, um... I will, I'm going to do another video because it's going to take too long. I have a drugstore um, haul as well, so I will film that one after this one so you might see me in the same outfit for um, the drugstore one. So I hope you guys um, are having a great day and if you bought anything from the Sephora VIB Rouge, um, say I'll let me know because I'd like to check it out and if there's any items that you would recommend let me know as well I'm always open to um, new products and yeah let me also know if you want to see the video comparing the beauty blender cleanser with the Sephora one all right guys thank you so much for watching um, subscribe if you like and I'll see you in the next video bye